So I was playing around with these little uh, healthier modules, these little 12 volt things that go really hot on one side and really cold on the other side. But to get really cold on one side, you need to dissipate all the heat and make the hot side as cold as possible so the cold side can get cold. Now this is great because we can make a bunch of, well, kind of free energy devices, but not really free energy. We can make um, mini heaters and mini coolers with these things just running off the 12 volts. So I made this thing, which is basically a giant heat sink tower with little heat sinks and a big heat sink and a, just a plate of aluminum on it. And we're gonna see how cold we can actually get one of these peltiers. So to power this entire heat sink setup, I have these two little 12 volt heat sinks on each side with fan and a little bit of heat and like the actual heat sink part. And then I have this bigger cool master heat sink that I took out of uh, thing like a computer or something and this one is actually and they're all thermoelectric pasted right to this big plate of aluminum and to power this we got a 12 volt power supply right there you can't really see it that well but there's a 12 volt power supply running onto this thing and on the top side what we got is you see the aluminum plate and then we got more heat sinks on it and we got uh the actual Peltier module with the hot side pasted uh planting down so that all these heat sinks can dissipate all the heat and every one of these uh, components is thermoelectric pasted to it to get the, the best contact for heat sinks. Alright so I'm going to uh, turn on the power supply. And now all the fans are running and this is actually gonna start getting really cold soon. I don't have a thermometer to show how cold this is at the moment, but just by feeling it, you can already feel some of the air moisture uh, condense, condensing and freezing. So I just got this bit of paper towel and I'm gonna soak it in water and then hopefully we'll freeze it to the plate. So we have the paper towel. Just gonna stick it onto the plate. Just gonna stick it onto the plate. And it is frozen. Look, if I try pulling it off, see how it's sticking. And it is frozen. Look, if I try pulling it off, see how it's sticking? Because it is actually frozen. Here, I'll take the top part off. This part right here. That happened instantaneously. It's ice now. Now watch what happens when we take off the power supply. We're going to shut it off now, and we'll see how fast. And there, done. It's off. Alright, so I put it back on again. I'm just going to put another uh, paper towel on it. We're going to see how fast until it freezes. And as you can see, I'm pulling it, and it's already sticking to the plate because it is cold and I'm just going to put a time lapse of this thing freezing over all right it's been about five minutes and you can already tell that it's getting iced over all this inside here is ice but you can notice that there's actually liquid water on the aluminum plate that's because the aluminum plate is actually um, quite warm it's just a little bit warmer than um, room temperature and this is actually doing a really good job of dissipating the heat this heat sink all right so after uh, I don't know 20 minutes or so this thing got completely frozen over I was actually not expecting this it's like all snow around it. It froze even more. It started condensing the air 
moisture. Everything is completely frozen up on here. And the heatsink plate is actually not that uh not that warm. It is warmer than before, but it's pretty cool. Let's see what happens when we shut it off. So we shut it off now. And let's see this. See if you can pull it off. Oh look at that. It was completely frozen on. Now instantly came off. Frozen. Now it's gonna start to melt. All right, so this proves that it can, in fact, freeze stuff. It is still frozen right here. I just put it in water to defrost again, and it is still frozen. It deep, like the core of this paper towel is actually deep frozen. So this does prove that it can freeze stuff. So I'm thinking what we should do is we should put a water pump and a block and make sort of like a mini drink uh, cooler that can instantly cool your drinks down. Now another YouTuber did this before, but I think it's pretty cool, so I'm going to do it too. So, I just need to get water blocks and more components, then that should be an upcoming video later on.